Hey guys, Lou here. Uh, just checking in to give you a wee bit of content today. I've been talking to quite a few people who have been telling me they're struggling with keeping on, on their eating and mainly because um, they're not prepped in advance. So I just want to talk to you about food prep when it comes to your transformation goals. Food prep is probably one of the most important things when you're trying to change the shape of your body because I'm going to be blatantly honest, is the food that makes the body, yeah? It's what you're putting into your body that shapes it. Um, so the best thing that you can do is, is prepare your, your food. Because um, a common thing that happens with a lot of our clients, um, they'll come in, they'll say, I'm not very good with food this week, I've been reaching for a lot of crap. And the first thing I'll say is, was your food prepped? And the answer is usually, no, it wasn't. And, and it's, it's pretty simple if you think about it. You come in, you're hungry, you need to make tea or you need to make lunch, and you haven't got anything made, what's the first thing you do? You grab a snack that's likely to be unhealthy. Not always, but likely to be um, in the majority of the cases of people that, that I, I speak to daily. Um, so it's just a really small tip, and it's just food preparation. There's a number of things that you can do to ensure that your food's prepped. Um, for example, you can have all your vegetables chopped and ready in Tupperware boxes so that you can just throw them into the pot or the oven or whatever you're doing with them. You can pre-make your sauces from scratch. Let's not be uh, going with sauces out of uh, tubs and tins because it's usually not the best for you. Um, spend a day or, or an evening or a morning doing your, your food prep. Uh, I personally am extremely busy. We've, 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 we've got our gym here. We've, we've all got our, our personal training, our semi-private. I actually study as well. I'm studying psychotherapy on top of, of everything that I already do. And we've, we've got a little boy. Um, so what I try to do is I try and do it on a Sunday. I spend, you know, a few hours on a Sunday prepping for throughout the week. I actually make all the food. Um, something that is essential when you're, you're training is Tupperware boxes, not only for prepping your food and popping it in it, but also for if you've actually pre-made meals to, to, to keep them, whether you keep them in the freezer or in, in the fridge. Um, but I do all mine on a Sunday generally. If, um, for example, we go away on a Sunday and I haven't had time to do that, um, I just have to make time throughout the week. So sometimes we don't get home till really late at night and all I do is I stay up later and I get it done because I know if we don't have our food prepped, we're going to fail for our, our fitness goals throughout that week. So really, really important, guys. Find time. There's 24 hours in a day. There's time somewhere for you to do that. And it's a major excuse a lot of people come out with. Um, and I always say, well, you know, there's 24 hours a day. Break your day down. Find some time. But, you know, if it means getting up earlier, going to bed later, or, as I say, a great way of doing it is just getting into a routine of having a day where that's what you do. You have to make tea anyway, yeah? So having it prepped make, makes a whole lot of sense. Tupperware boxes, it's great to have an endless supply. I actually have a cupboard full of them. Uh, in our house, we seem to manage to lose the lids and we have to keep buying them all the time. But they're, they're fab, especially for people who are really serious about fitness goals and changing the shape of the, your, your body. Um, I can hear my little boy coming coming in the background, so I apologise if, if he jumps in the video here. Um, but yeah, Tupperware boxes are really important because they really will keep you... Um, on par because you just take it with you. Something people quite often say, oh, but I don't want to eat out of a Tupperware box. And I always just basically say, well, how bad do you want it? There's really not a major difference eating off a plate or eating out of a Tupperware box. Carry a plate about with you if it's, it's that big a deal. Uh, I eat out of a Tupperware bo box pretty much all week, um, other than the weekend, because cause we're always working. I've got used to it because I want to get to my fitness goals, especially now with my mum, and um, it's a lot harder than it was before. Um, so yeah, I, I'm on those Tupperware boxes all the time. And can you hear him? He's having a little cry. It joys of being a mum and trying to be a coach at the same time. Also, um, because quite often you need to snack, make those snacks healthy um, rather than um, so that, you know, if you, if you have failed back on your prep or you're in a bit of a rush, it's a healthy snack that you've got there. If you want to know a bit more about healthy snacks and maybe some recipes that I can give you, um, let me know under this video. But anyway, it's something really simple, uh, but I wanted to share it with you because it is something a lot of people fail on, it's just preparing your food. And I know um, there's a lot of families on, on my page, a lot of mums, and time is hard, but I know what that feels like, and I have had to make the time and make the sacrifice to make sure we all um, we all have our goals. And our little boy, um, you know, I prep for him as well if he's going to need it. Um, you know, you do that for your kids, you make their lunches, so what's the difference with looking after yourself? Yeah. Catch you later.